Hi friends, welcome to channel Brennerizer. Today we will be making small stair climbing robot. We will try three different kind of designs. One design will be like this where both the wheels are angled towards outwards. This is both are inward and this is both on same side. Now both the wheels will rotate anti-clockwise and when it will move forward and touch the staircase the front wheel will lift it up. Back wheel will push it. We will make sure the robot is long enough to stay on the staircase and when it is climbing we will apply some basic geometry to measure the height. You need for this 260 RPM DC geared motor and some wood pieces. Now you glue the motor and use a use these scales to make the angle of the motor 60 degree. Glue the wood piece and glue another wood piece at the back to make the frame strong. Such you have to make two. Make the distance between shaft 16 centimeter. Glue this to frame. Now you are going to add four such wheels. Each wheel is, wheel is about seven centimeter in diameter. There is a screw which you can tie to attach these wheels on the shaft. Use some black tape to reinforce the structure. Now shoulder this kind of wires on the motor. Two wires per motor. I'm going to use this kind of board where one side will connect battery, there is a switch in series and two pins to connect two motors. This kind of uh, PCBs I have shown in, a, in some of my videos earlier so I'm not going to explain this. I'm going to use a um, 3.7 volt LiPo battery. Connect such a way that when you switch on both the motors rotate on same direction both should rotate anti-clockwise see it's moving now if you keep something it will cross that easily but how much it can cross how far i see it is not able to cross now if i apply some force downward some push see it's able to climb that means a push increases the friction now I have to increase the friction so the most important is I'm going to add some glue on the wheels. Those glue will give me a rubber type of texture on the wheel and give more and more friction between the wheel and the floor. Now if you switch on this structure will help to climb up but still not perfect it's not able to climb properly so you are going to design the second one we'll open it and assemble again using a wood piece of backer line at the center and just make the second where both the wheels are inwards Again same way, connect the battery and all the motors. Now see this, this is it's able to climb but it is not so smooth, not able to climb everywhere. If I give little push here yeah, it's able to climb up. Now I'm going to design the third one. 
we where both the wheels are in parallel angle and see it's able to climb smoothly and it's able to really climb oh it's fallen let's try again and it is able to climb now and it is again able to climb again you can to climb little struggling but can it's climbing down and it's moving smoothly uh, this is uh, uh, in the front of the door it's able to easily climb small obstacles and going inside so uh, i hope you liked it but you will really get the skill if you make your own so thanks for watching please subscribe the channel if you like the videos bye